Hi guys, today I have a really exciting update. I know you guys have all been waiting for this. This is my first update for the project polish I'm doing in 2021. Really exciting because it's been a whole year since I did the project and I felt inspired in a very different way. I thought it was going to be a complete fail, but I think I made pretty good progress, honestly. Nothing's finished, but still very good progress. I just picked five shades to start uh, last update, which was probably five or six weeks ago. It's definitely been a little bit longer than a month. Let's get into the shades. So the very first one here is a purple color. This one is very pretty. It's from the brand Color Infinity. It's called Violet Backed Starling. Gorgeous shade. The formula I did come to realize it's a little different in a way that it dries slower than your typical polish, but it's not thick yet. It's just, um, it dries slower. I have to wait a little bit longer between coats, otherwise it would drag kind of bald spots, but that's about it. It's still a very pretty color. I do still very much enjoy the color of it. And last update or at the intro, I didn't have any lines to mark because it was a brand new product. There's just nothing to mark. And right now you can see I used a decent amount of it. I'm really proud of that progress. I marked it using a silver marker. I hope you can see that better. And you can see it's rather liquid. Like, you know, as I tilt it, it would just move around. But that's where I am now. I'm really excited about that progress. I did use it a couple of times on its own. Also, I put a topper over it. This one is a Sally Hansen Insta Dry color, and this is in the color Purple Prism. It's a little more sheer than I anticipated, so I decided to use it as a topper instead. I just put one coat of this over the color Infinity shade. I honestly don't think it made much of a difference. The color of those two polishes are extremely similar, and the um, kind of hollow affecting this isn't all that obvious. I could totally live without that combo. <laughs> I tried it, it's all right, but yeah, I probably would try to wear this on its own because I'm not very impressed so far. The next shade I have over here is from Zoya. This is in the color Tinsley. It's a warm pink with a very strong kind of um, gold shimmer in there. It's very pretty. It's just easy to use. I think I used it once on my nails and once on my toes. That's it. So I didn't really try to come up with combos with it. I do realize because all of the shades I picked here are essentially shimmers, it's a little hard to put toppers over those shades. Um, I just I just didn't really explore that revenue, I guess. So here is my progress, very minimal. I hesitated even if I should have marked it, but I think that's that's enough progress to mark. So I did, but it's pretty minimal. I am okay with it. I am by no means tired of this color. I think this is just a all year round easy to use shade anyways, but hopefully I can come up with some different ways or fun ways to use this. The next one here is my Jewel of Color Daily. So this one, I used it a decent amount. I'm not too surprised because julep shades really go down so fast. This is probably just two uses. Um, I think it's all right. I mentioned this before that in the bottle, you see a green kind of dual chrome shift on the edges. On the nails, it just looks like a antique gold. There's no dual chrome shift whatsoever. Not too impressed, but you know, it's okay. The formula is a little bit on the thicker side, but not too difficult to use. It did dry really fast. So, you know, if I was in a rush, I would grab this guy. Um, it's all right. I'm just using that slowly. The next shade, I am a little worried about it. This is my Nicole by OPI in the color Just Basta Mauve. So this color, I only used it a little bit. You can see that's where I started. That's where I am now. And we're definitely going into the warmer months now. So ooh, I, I have to really focus on this guy a little bit more. But I just feel it's so difficult to use. The brush right now is pretty much completely above the polish line. Like the brush, the bristle stops about right here. It's so difficult to use, so hard to fetch the polish when I paint my nails. 
such a pain and I did use it on my nails and on my toes. It just didn't go down much. I even tried to do a little bit of nail art with it. I'll mention it a little bit later, but I just feel kind of disappointed that it didn't go down much. I'm a little scared about this guy, so hopefully I can focus on this next update and use it a little faster. And the very last shade is actually what I am most excited about. This is completely unexpected. I did not know what to think when I put the polish in the project. You can see it over here. This is a shimmery topper, actually. It's from Zoya. The color, I think it's called Leia. It's spelled L-E-I-A. But this color, I used it a ton. That's where I started, and this is where I am now. I did not expect that because I know as a topper, I only use one coat of this polish each time. I just thought maybe it will go down really slow, but it did inspire me quite a bit. I used it as a topper over two different shades. One is the China Glaze Sample Size Me Up. This kind of shade just works really well underneath this polish because this guy has a pretty strong kind of pink shimmer tone to it. It just really contrasts with any sort of cool toned base. So I thought that one looked really pretty. I also put this over I Am No Tourist from China Glaze. So this guy is sent to me from China Glaze. I actually swatched their Cali Dreams collection for spring 2021 officially. If you go on their website, you see my pictures up there. So I got this polish actually really early on. And I just really wanted to play that shimmer on a nude polish vibe. I don't know. I kind of just feel... I, I shouldn't say that's trendy. It's just what I crave for, I guess. I really enjoyed that almost nude looking nails with some sort of shimmer. So that's what I did. And I thought that combo came out pretty nice. And then wait for it. I also used this over a lot of my other project polish polishes. So that's really exciting. I put one coat of this over Julep Daily. Actually, I thought that combo came out so nice. I was so pleasantly surprised because I've never put this guy over any sort of metallic shades. And over daily, it really brought out the dual chrome in there. So you can see a little bit of a sparkle or shimmer on top of it. It's a little bit on the subtle side, but it also has a subtle-ish kind of dual chrome shift. It just completely transformed the base color. I thought the combo of those two looked so pretty and unique, different. It's probably not for everyone because it's a little bit stepping into that ugly pretty zone, but I loved it. I thought that was a beautiful combo. And then I had this light bulb moment. This year I've been feeling the Native Space nail art too. If you don't know what it is, Native Space is basically using your bare nails as the canvas and then just do nail art on top of the your bare nails. So like between the art pieces, you just see your bare nails. That's called Native Space. And sometimes I like to put some sort of sheer color underneath. I just thought, what if I use this, since it's sheer, as a base for my Native Space manis? And that really just transformed my thinking. It made such a difference. So the easiest one I did is actually a French mani. So I used two coats of this as the base on all, all of my nails. So I just used this um, brown color also from my Project Polish to do the French tip. They are both very shiny, very glittery and reflective. So that way, you know, if my French tip didn't look very perfect or it didn't look very symmetrical, it doesn't matter because the reflection is going to trick your eyes and you won't see all the mistakes. So I thought that combo came out really cute, really pretty. And the colors is not what you typically would expect because it's a brown tip. But I just loved it so, so much. It was overall very shiny, reflective, but the color is still on the neutral side so it's a little tuned down it's just so different i loved that look and then after that i i of course couldn't stop right there because i thought i saw this um manny from jemima nails on instagram and she did this beautiful look i really wanted to replicate it and i thought hey i have just the 
perfect colors in my project polish to sort of replicate that. So again, I used this shade as the base for three nails, and then I used the purple, the color infinity shade on two nails, and then on the three nails, I actually did a half circle kind of thing on the tip-ish. You'll see the picture. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. And I wasn't trying to be too careful where the curve would end or anything like that. And then I used this uh, Julep Daily again just to do a little brush stroke. I used a dry brush method and then kind of just brushed it across the half circle. And all three shades from that nail art look are from my Project Polish. So that's really exciting. And I just love that. I thought that's like the best Manny I came up with for my Project Polish during this last update. And I was super proud of it. And of course, I'm not even done yet because I also did this is the last mani. <laughs> the last mani I did on my nails right now, I actually used my NCLA Peach Gelato. And then the next day, I thought, you know what? I really wanted to do a gradient kind of shimmery look. So I grabbed a little sponge and put Zoya Leia on the sponge and then just sponged it on the tip of my nails and kind of gradually went up a little bit. So it kind of looked like a gradient. And I just love that look. It looked like I have those press-on nails, you know, you will buy from the drugstore. And I just really dig that look. I thought it looked so cute and I have nothing bad to say about it. I just completely am in love with this look. So I might try to do this again with some other base colors just to explore the possibilities. But isn't this really cute though? I just loved it so, so much. It totally brings me into the spring mood too. Anyways, um, that's all that I did for Project Polish this month or this update quite a bit. And I am especially excited about the progress I was able to make on this topper shade um, because I, I thought for sure this one is going to go down super slow. But... Right now, I'm really, really happy about it. Hopefully, I can keep up with this momentum and be creative. And I do have a couple colors. I, I'm i so close to like adding them into this project, but not yet because I need to make some more progress before I can add more. But I do feel pretty inspired, which is good. And hopefully, we can make more steady progress. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.